Officials have found an unusually high number of dead pit bulls along Interstate 295. So the question is, were they simply hit by cars or did something more malicious happen to them? Jennifer Donnellan went looking for answers today. Jen? Well, Allison, we've just learned that a Humane Society law enforcement officer came here today to the Department of Public Works, and we are now one step closer to answering that question of what happened to all of these dogs. Six dead pit bulls on the same stretch of Interstate 295 in one week. On Monday, our cameras captured two of the six dogs found on 295 between Route 50 and the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Both pit bulls were dead against the highway divider in the northbound lanes. Six dead dogs in such a short amount of time was startling to many. Strange that it's the same stretch of highway and uh, that it's the same breed of dog. Unusual though, six dogs. I, I think there's something more to this. When we asked the Department of Public Works about the two dogs we saw on 295, one at the 695 ramp, the other across from the Malcolm X exit ramp, DPW said their trucks had already collected four dead pit bulls just days before along 295 and called it all unusual. Washington Humane Society law enforcement officers investigate animal cruelty cases in the city and said the high number of dogs in the same area gave them pause, but also said warmer weather can mean more dogs are outside and escape. Same breed of dogs, six pit bulls, one highway. Pit bull types of dogs are really popular in, in the D.C. area. Only one of the six pit bulls was evaluated by an officer, and the Humane Society said that pit bull appeared to have been hit by a car. The other five were collected by DPW. We've looked at one of the six dogs, right. and you're going to call DPW and see if the other dogs are around, even maybe take a peek at Right, take a look at, um, seeing what, what condition they're in. I mean, you know, maybe somebody's putting them out there. Maybe somebody's dumping them. That's real bad. And that type of concern has animal cruelty officers asking the public to come forward to report any suspicious behavior. We always investigate um, uh, situations where someone just has a bad feeling. Now, as we mentioned at the top of this, uh, an off officer came here and examined two of the pit bulls. And at this point indicates that there does not appear to be any criminal behavior. That officer also will be going to the areas where the dogs were found. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Donnellan. Back to you.